Greetings to you and welcome to Minukun Tutorials. I hope you are doing well. In today's special tutorial, I'll be showing you how to actually use Office 365 for free, right? That is, you can use Word, you know, um, Excel, PowerPoints, you know, every other thing that you can think of, okay, for free, okay? And uh, this is very simple, and I'll show you how. All that you need is actually what internet connection, right? So if you don't have, let's say, um, internet connection on your phone, you probably could do what simply hotspot, okay? So that your computer will have. Sorry, I mean, if you don't have internet connection of your on your computer, you could hotspot with your phone so that your computer will have what internet connection all right if you have wi-fi then that is just perfect okay so all you have to do is to make sure that you just open your browser or okay. use any browser of your choice so for the start let me use firefox for instance all right and you simply go to what office.com so simply type office dot com right and hit enter so when it bring when you come to office dot com all that you will have to do is to do what is to click on sign in then you sign in with your outlook email as well as what your password okay now you ask me what is your outlook email this is your uh, microsoft account email in case you don't have a microsoft account okay or even a microsoft account email which is your outlook email okay maybe you have never uh, created one okay it's very simple to create okay if you have used uh if you have purchased office 365 or something like that before and you have already set up an outlook email then you could just use that outlook email if you have never done it before i'm going to show you how you can do it for free so if you don't have i will just assume that you don't have office 365 account in other words you don't have outlook account if you have outlook account just click on sign in put in your email click on next and put your password if you don't have an account then you can create click on what create one all right so if i should click on create one here they will ask me for what my uh what are they asking for they are saying what create account okay so let's assume that you never had a an outlook account then in that case, you will have to what? To click on what? Get a new email. But if you have an Outlook account, like minukun at outlook.com, then you simply put your email here and then what? You, you create your Outlook account or whatever. I would recommend you, if you don't have an account or if you have an issue with logging in or creating your Microsoft account or anything, then it will be better you create an email uh, from scratch. So you click on get new email address, and then they'll ask you to write here your new email. So let's assume that your new email is, uh, let's say, Minukun Tutorials, All right? Usually you write your first name and your last name, okay? So just for this video, I would say Minunkun, right, tutorials. All right, Minunkun tutorials, for instance, for instance. And then you make sure you click here and select outlook.com. Sometimes, depending on where you are, you may have like a different domain here. You may have dot uk dot org dot whatever dot fr if you're in france just make sure you select in case you have something like that just make sure you select outlook.com this way all right and then you click on what 
next so this menu kun tutorials yes i click on next and they will ask me to what uh, enter my password so you you have to create a password so you create a password that is simple to, and to remember okay so let me see okay i don't want you to see my password so let me uncheck this as i type And then you click on next. All right. And then you simply what you can save your password if you want. I wouldn't save it for now. You put your date of birth. All right. So You click on next. And they will ask you to solve this puzzle. Okay. So solve puzzle is just to ensure that you are not a robot. <laughs> they want to know that it's a human being that is doing this. So you click on solve puzzle. And they are saying that they should what help us be the robots. All right. So use the arrow, the arrows to rotate the object to face in the direction of what the hand so the object has to face the direction of the hand right so this is like a house okay and it has to face the direction of the hand i think this is perfect you click on submit and there is success you have proven you are a human All right i can just click on okay Okay, and there I go. I am successfully logged into what? Uh, Outlook, right? I mean, Office 365, okay? If I should click on, just click on this here, you know, and this, and you are done. Now I have Microsoft Word here for me. As you can see down here, you can see that I am logged in as what Minukun Tutorials at Outlook.com. All I need to do is to just remember Minukun Tutorials at Outlook.com as my email and my password. And anytime I want to use it, use, I mean, Office 365, I just go to Office.com and then I have my Word here online. So I just need to have Wi Fi connection. If I should open Word here, just click on blank document. right and it's opening online i can just start typing for instance uh let's say today's tutorial i am enjoying today's tutorial Please subscribe. All right. So you see, I just said I'm enjoying today's tutorial. <laughs> Typing anything. All right. Once I'm done working on my Word document, you can use it just like how you use Word. Okay. I could have been using PowerPoint or any other thing. To save my file, I just click on File. And I can click on what export. And then you have 
the choice to either export it as a PDF, as a, you know, or I don't know what other option do we have. Okay, so you can export it as a PDF, for instance. Uh, you would say, what if I want to save it as a Word document? If you want to save it as a Word document, let me see. Um, let's click on share. You can share it with somebody. Okay, you can actually click on share with people here. And then you key in their email address, for instance. So let's say minukun at outlook.com, for instance. Assuming minukun at outlook.com is another person, I can share it with them. All right. And I have the choice to either they can just view the document, read it, read only, or they can edit it. All right. And I can say, for instance, hi. This is the document. Or you can leave that part blank. There's no problem. The document. All right. And just click on what send. Or I can copy this link, whatever. You know? If you want to share with somebody, you can just copy the link. And the, the person will read the document. If you want to save the document, like I said, you can save the document as what? As a as a as a as a pdf and if you also want to open the document in app okay you can do that by clicking on what open in app as you can see here okay but the problem is that maybe you don't have microsoft word already on your computer or you have the free version and you may be having difficulties if not, click on opening up. Let, I would come back to that, okay? So I'm trying to see if, apart from exporting, you can export in these formats, okay? In PDF, most likely. But we don't have uh, the possibility to export in Word format, okay? We don't have that possibility, but we can export in PDF format. So if you want to export your document in, okay, you also have here, create a copy. So let's say download a copy. Let's see, download as a Word document to this device. So you click on that, and then you click on what? Download copy. You can say email link, or you know, it's just download copy. All right, and then um, what I'm not sure is whether our document is downloaded. I'm not sure about that. You know, I don't, I'm not sure what it really meant. Okay, maybe it's downloaded and it's stored in my OneDrive or something. Okay, so I think it's in my, uh, my OneDrive and it's in Documents, you know. So if I should go to documents here in my OneDrive, I think it's here, you know, it's actually here. And I can what? I can download it maybe to my computer. And now I have it on my computer. If I should open here, I will have my document here now in Word format. You see, it's right here. You see, it's right here in Word document now. Better still, you could export it. Let me show you another way. Another way, if you already have Word document on your computer, right? Another way you could export it would be what? If you don't want to convert it to a PDF as I showed you, you know, click on file, export as PDF. You know, if you don't want to do all that, and you don't also want to uh, create a copy by downloading it, you know, create a copy online. So if you create a copy online, it will first of all go to your OneDrive, and then you can go and download it. 
if you don't have OneDrive on your computer, then what you could also do would be to try to open it in app. So you click on open in app. All right, just click on open. That is if you have Word installed, even if the Word on your computer is the free version, there's not, I think it will work, okay? Once it opens, okay, once it opens, you simply click on file, click on, uh, I'm sorry, my Word is in, in, is in French at the moment. So click on save as, you browse, save the document wherever you want to save it name it the way you want it okay put it on your downloads folder or your desktop wherever you want it and save it and that is it you know it's very simple thank you so much for watching and this is how you can use office 365 microsoft word powerpoint excel OneNote, everything for free please subscribe bye for now